what's up guys welcome back to the page we're back in the shop pulling around with the nova so i ordered a new set of scales so in this video i'll be unboxing these and reviewing them a little bit and putting the nova on the scale see what it weigh my old set of scales got flooded uh, in a shop, so they're not working. They haven't been working right last few years, so I really haven't been weighing my cars. So I decided to order a new set of scales and uh, I'm going to weigh the Nova just to see how much it's weighing. These are some Proform scales that I ordered from Summit. I think they was right at $900 for them. They came in this pretty good car uh, carrying case. Pretty solid case here. Good way to store them. And they wireless. Here's the display here. So you can see it's wireless. Pretty small, compact. Takes these batteries here. Double A batteries. Some instructions. Here's the actual scales. Look like they got them color coded. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. Color coded with the display. Got this little cord here. I guess you can plug up your display and run power to it that way or either charge it may have an internal battery in it I have to read the instructions to see let's take the scales out and look at them pretty lightweight well like they got a little small building in ramp the other scales we had, we had to make some ramps for them because they sit up taller. So maybe may be able to push or drive the car right on these. So that's good. They wireless. I like the double A batteries go in right there. So I'm gonna get them all out, put the batteries in it, and read the instructions. Read through the instructions right quick. Look like it's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna put the batteries in them and look like they automatically recognize the uh, wireless function. The display automatically recognizes the uh, the scales when you turn the display on. So I'm gonna check that, check that out. I know with my old scales, we had wires, had to run wires everywhere. I always had to get an extension cord to plug in the display. This look like it'll be a lot easier.
black guys so I got all the batteries in and it says once you turn it on the uh, display should recognize all the scales when I turn the display on the light on the scale lit up I'll show y'all that I guess that see the scale blink I guess that lets you know that the display recognizes the scale see the light come on so this is the left front just put some weight on it and see what happens yeah it recognizes it now left rear this the left rear and you recognize the left rear right there and the zero it out you see you match this right here this tar I guess that's if you had one scale or the scales one on zero before you put in the weight on them you have to tar them out check all of them make sure it's recognizing this is left front here the left front Yep. This is the right rear. Yep. And this is the right front. Oh man, so that's pretty easy. Pretty simple. Not not in the wires or anything. So all I had to do is put the batteries in them and turn them on. If they weren't zeroed out, I had to tar them and zero them out. Shoot, now I think I just sit them down and jack the car up and sit the car on them and see how much my car weighs. How much y'all think it's going to weigh? If I remember correctly, last time I weighed it, with me in it, it was right around 28.50, I think. 2800 it's a pretty heavy car it's a back half car it got one of the heavier uh tall deck steel blocks in it i don't know if y'all knew this or not but this is a true back half it still has the stock floor in it the floor go all the way back all the way back to here so it's a true back half car start dash. So I'm trying to run a class, I'm running in. I definitely got a lower caliber car. Like I always say, as long as I can get on the number, it don't matter. But we're gonna weigh it. See how much it weighs. Alright, so guys, I got all the scales set in place we're close to the tires now i'm gonna tar zero it out one more time and jack up the front of the car set the front scales on set the front tires on the scales then do the back one thing about this wire is i can walk around with it i guess it has this right here to let you know the little satellite to let you know that uh the scale is still communicating with the uh with the display so i'm walking all around the shop and still catching the signal so that's good Alright guys, so we're sitting on the scales. See how much it weighs. 
27, 21. Without me in it. So, it's going to be right at 29, 20 with me in it. I told y'all it was heavy. Let's sit in and see what it weighs. All right, guys, it's right at 2,900 with me sitting in it. Boy, we need to go on the diet. And this race ready, I may be, I may be about a gallon low on fuel. So maybe another 10 pound. I think I got one run on my nitrous bottle, so Four notches ball to be about another two and a half pound. So it's probably right at 29, 29, 20. Oh, with my hair and my five suit. It's probably about 29, 30 when I go in the lights. I'm gonna tar through this. They say you can hit your function key. And that'll pull up different screens. You see it's showing the percent, the percentage, weight percentage and all. With the front. This will actually put it in kilograms. So that's the weight in kilograms. This is back to pounds. Um, and you can see it's about 27% on both sides on the front and the driver rear is about 25% and passenger rear is about 21% so what's that 50 about 54% on the nose on the front Pretty good scales, guys. I think it was a, uh, I think it was a good buy. These scales are actually a cheaper set of scales. Like I said, it was right around 900. But as far as the quality and the, from what I've seen so far, and the, even with the, the nice case, storage case. I think I think all that was I think these pro form scales will do whatever you need them to do. I know they're a lot better than my old scales without having to have all the wires. Those scales are heavier. Uh, you had to have a ramp to drive the car upon. I really think if I had to, I can probably just drive the car straight off these. But I'm not gonna do that. Most of the time I just drive the car up and sit down on them. And that's where we are, guys. A 2,900-pound stick car. Out there trying to race against 2,300, 2,400-pound automatics in the 470 class. Yeah, I think I'm crazy. 